I have absolutely no idea why I'm making this video. In the early 1990s, the video game company Sega, who weren't known for making much at the time, had their very own magazine simply entitled Sega Magazine. But I'll stop talking about the, um, cover and instead start talking about one specific article I came across while reading through some issues the other day. Now this issue in particular was published at about the same time that Sonic 3 and Knuckles was released, and I guess Sega thought it would be a good idea to put a little competition into the game. Find Rankles... Oh, good lord. And win a million pounds. Wait, hold on, that's... Okay, I can already tell that this is fake. What? No. No, that's not real. It can't be. Nah, you, you, nah, you, you're just pulling my leg. No, nah, no, it, it can't be. A million pounds, that's a lot of money. No, 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 you're just pulling my leg. I mean, look at him, he's clearly fake. And he was fake. But the article in itself was not fake. I'll get more into that later. Anyway, what in the actual flying fish is this thing? This is literally just a drawing of Knuckles that was already used in an earlier issue of Sega Magazine, except slightly different. For one thing, he's definitely greener than he used to be. His knuckles have been straight up chopped off. His eyes are slightly bigger. His nose has been stretched out, so now it just looks like a shoehorn. And I don't even know what to say about those feet. Literally, all they've done is taken this exact spike on his head and just copied and pasted it onto a green sphere. Look guys, I made Rankle's feet. So yeah, obviously the character by itself was just made up. But let's see what the real article that was actually made said about him. Find Rankle's and win a million pounds. Yes, we're offering an amazing one million pounds to the first person to send us a photograph of Rankles, the hidden character in Sonic and Knuckles. Rankles, a green otter. Oh, he's an otter. Oh, yeah, of course. The first thing I think of when I think of an otter is their giant spiky bowling ball feet. Anyway, Rankles, a green otter with outside sparkly ankles. Sparkly ankles? What? Where? There is not a single ankle on this design. What, you mean those things? Okay, for one, they're definitely not sparkly. They're more shiny than anything. And no, the, they're not ankles. They're not ankles. They're not. I don't know what they are, but they're definitely not ankles. Rankles, a green otter with outside sparkly ankles and knuckles sidekick, is hidden somewhere in the cart and he could be your ticket to Easy Street. Just send us your photo or accurate description, well, I can make a pretty accurate description right now, to us here at He's Completed Sonic and & Knuckles and Many a Mickle Makes a Muckles competition. <laughs> Sega Magazine, Priory Court, 3032 Faringdon Lane, London. EC1R3O. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. I knew it. Anyone who sees Rankles should call Alcoholics Anonymous because Tom guys just made him up. And we're afraid we couldn't give you the a million pounds anyway. Well, I guess that theory's debunked. Video's over. <laughs> just kidding, folks. It wouldn't be much of a video if it was. Because someone managed to actually find Rankles in the game after all. <gasps> Look! It, it, it's him! I mean, the red skin and lack of the weirdest ankles in the history of the world really stands out, but 
And that's definitely a Rankles in my books. I can only imagine Sega's face when they saw the video. Sire, somebody has actually claimed to have found Rankles in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But the thing is, sir, they have video evidence. I think we need to pay the a million pounds. But unfortunately, this wasn't Rankles after all. It turned out to be just a glitched color palette swap of knuckles that happens when you abuse debug mode too much. Although Sega did have to make an excuse to the guy as to why he couldn't get the a million pounds he rightfully deserved. Sadly, we have to tell you that they can't have the one million pounds because, as you can see from our pictures, the mystery character hasn't got sparkly ankles and therefore cannot be rankles and is actually just knuckles underwater. Boo on you, Sega. And thus commenced the last ever appearance of Rankles the Otter in any official Sonic games. Not even Mania gave him a quick tribute. Instead, he has been reduced to nothing more than an opportunity for modders and... Deviant art posts. But maybe, maybe someday, there will be an official Sonic game that finally gives Rankles the respect he deserves. A chance in the spotlight. A chance to be remembered. Probably not, though.